Our top story at 5.30, a Bay Area woman is out of a job after confronting this man wearing his Make America Great Again hat. The incident playing out at a Palo Alto Starbucks store. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. Let's get you right to KPX 5's Leonard Ramirez in Palo Alto, where he spoke with a Trump supporter about what exactly happened. Len? out to both the woman and the man involved in this incident, uh, but we were unable to uh, reach the woman. She seems nowhere to be found after apparently losing her job nearby, but the man apparently still out here walking the streets, and that's where we found him today. You know, America's still a free country, right? Victor I mean, F. is a 74-year-old Trump supporter who lives in Palo Alto. He casually went about his business today, still sporting the red MAGA hat that prompted a loud confrontation with a woman at a Palo Alto Starbucks two days ago. This crazy woman came over started raving at me. She turned to the rest of Starbucks. Hey, everybody, here's this racist here. He hates brown people. He's crazy. He's a, a Nazi and so forth. The woman, Rebecca Parker Mank. The woman, Rebecca Parker Mank. He then began taking photos and posting about it on her Facebook, saying she was going to shame him, get him fired, kicked out of clubs, and march up and down his street. Victor says she left, then came back and tried to rile the Starbucks crowd once more. Hey, again, everybody here, this racist and so on. And then as she wrote in her thing, she was disappointed all the people didn't come and mob me. In fact, the opposite happened. People started harassing Parker Mankey's family and her employer, Griffin Stringed Instruments, where she worked as an accountant. The store owner decided to fire her after he read her Facebook posts. We feel that music is what brings people together. And so having someone then making comments that are divisive is just not consistent with our values. No one answered the door at Parker Mankey's home, but a female spoke through a closed window saying Rebecca doesn't live here. She didn't want to discuss the issues with me. She wanted just to scream about Nazis and so on. Victor wears a yarmulke underneath his MAGA hat. He is Jewish, and so to him, being called a Nazi is hurtful. People with an education should know better than to say stupid things like that. Lots of people have come up to me and said they sympathize and so on, but they're scared to wear the Trump hat. So I hope. This incident brings a wave of people wearing the Trump hats, just like the wave of people with anti-Trump uh, opinion.